So the question, what is a bad boy? Maybe they're lottery tickets. There's <laughs> theories that uh, they're, they're almost, most of them are almost worthless, worthless, but some of them are tremendously valuable. You know, most patents, I mean, half of patents after their 10 year time period are not even renewed uh, by paying a maintenance fee. Two thirds of issued patents um, are let go by the patent office. I mean, for mere thousands of dollars uh, to pay for a main, uh, maintenance fee. Less than 2% of issued patents are commercialized in the marketplace. I mean, that, that's pitiful. I mean, 98% of issued patents are not commercialized in the marketplace. So, when you look at the value of a patent portfolio, when you look at these boundaries, these walls of word fences that are built around the intellectual property. Um, that's, what, that's what a patent attorney will do in a due diligence investigation. They will look at a patent to say how sound is it, what are some of the issues, um, and to analogize that to fences, do they have strong fences, broad fences, um, or can they easily not be knocked down? My big point, the takeaway point um, to, to my lecture here is that more is better than one that you really need to amass a patent portfolio. Don't worry so much about the scope of any individual claim, any individual patent. Get as many patents as you can in a particular area. Create that minefield for your competitors to look at and stay away from.